Hello, storytellers and storytelling Ron. And I am going to go through this and show you how for the Lord RPG, you can do the, convert this to for the Lord RPG. This is obviously one of the big famous, uh, or, uh, original, come on, focus. Thing in my ears. Oh, it's focusing. And the keep in the rolling by Gary Guy Gags. Okay. So I want to explain how you can, you know, if you're worried or concerned about like say D and D and having D and D and feeling, feeling D and D and the old D and D, I want to assuage thee. Um, and, and show you that this can easily be converted to a for the Lord RPG. And I'm going to go through these, uh, do a little series, quick series of these. Okay. So, you know, that, that's an owl bear. That's an owl bear. It can just be a bear, you know, and you can even have a bear with some sort of, you know, you know, the pagans put something on it, like a, a skull cap or some sort of, sort of armor that would be freaky deaky. So this is basically, let me get to the regional map. Um, the story is very simple, right? Now let me get focus. Is that focus? So, you know, you've got the keep, and then you just got various things to go and encounter, right? Okay, so the keep, Christian, you know, or you're a missionary is going there to, to see what, how the church is going there. So they got a, they got a treacherous priest there, but they also have a curate, which is kind of like the priest of the Castilian, but then they got a, a, that priest who's, who's, who's evil and treacherous and actually works for the pagans, which makes total sense. They can be two-faced um, and treacherous that way. Um, so... That's, that's, that's a cool little, you know, uh, conflict strife plot thickens thing going on there. And so the missionaries go and see what the church is doing, how it's doing, and that can unfold what's going on there. Um, and then they got to restrengthen the church there and all the believers are there are probably all very weak and, 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 and you got to investigate and then discover that, yes, there's a whole kinds of horrors going on out outside, um, that they got to go and, and vanquish and deal with. There's obviously the Caves of Chaos is, is, to, is a total pagan shrine temple area, right? That's that's huge. It sounds huge. The Cave of the Unknown is obviously something you can create your on your own. The Lizard Mound, the Lizardmen Mound. So the Lizardmen, that's, you, you know, you could just create a, a cult or, or a mound of giant prehistoric lizards because we're, 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 we're bringing in the dinosaurs and the prehistoric because we're creation science here. So you could have giant lizards that are terrorizing the area. That makes total sense. Crocodile, crocodilian or whatever. I have some in the, in the game. Uh, there's a raider's camp, you know, in the forest there. That's that, that's totally a bunch of bandits. If you convert them, you can then, I got I got This is an add on to the game, but I got to do a thing where when you convert say bandits, you can then use them to reduce the opposition's army, you know, so that you then missionaries can just fight the main people, something like that. I got to figure that out, um, to do some kind of mini, you know, war thing. Um, but add a small, like, you know, a few groups, <clears throat> I'll think I'll, 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 I'll figure that out. But that, that'd be kind of cool. Um, so if you, so it's always important to try to convert, you know, whoever you can. And I would think the Raiders would be one you could convert, but the caves of chaos, that's the crazy area. Um, well, here's the map of the keep and that's cool adventuring, you can, you know, with all the, with what's going on and how do you, you, you discern how the people are feeling there, which is probably pretty dreadful. And there's probably a lot of pagans in there trying to, you know, make it heretical, the church or, or the priest there. Um, so that's a, that's a fun adventure in and of itself, uh, especially as Christian, as a Christian missionary. So let's go to the Caves of Chaos temple, which they have a temple, right? At the very corner here is a temple. And then the rest of these are, you know, for, 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 for the Lord RPG, they, they would all be a, a mix of different cults that are all vying for the favor or the demonic possession. Cause obviously in the temple, you, you, you get possessed or converted or something. Um, you know, I read it quickly here of, of the, um, and I played it a long time ago, but of the, um, um, you get converted or, or whatever. So you can obviously do a thing where they all want to get maybe their greatest warrior. Maybe they have a, a gladiator or arena there, or in the middle, they all have a fight. And then the winner gets to go to the temple and get possessed. And it's sort of a big thing that's coming up or, you know, whatever. Um, and then of course they're all sabotaging each other as they, they have their own little cave encampments. And, 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 you know, and, and let me just run through real quick. Um, the kobolds have rats, right? And so that could be like this little pygmy African race who, who have these rats and they're, um, uh, the giant rats that they, they raise, you know, or, you know, and I'm, yes, I'm using racial tribal stereotypes. I don't care. Cause that's, that's fun. I'm not going to, I am not, you know, we Christians love to have fun. Um, don't worry. I'll get to the white people too, for crying out loud. Um, so then you got the orcs and to me, the orcs are, could be like, they, they paint themselves in green. They could come from anywhere. Um, maybe they're cannibals. They're crazy. You know, they're, um, 
they 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 paint themselves in green or some sort of dark muddy color, and they they wear fangs or they sharpen their teeth, you know, so that can be creepy. And that just works. And that's exactly what they are. Goblins can be some sort of um, I don't know the French. I don't know. They could be whatever. They could just you know the Franks. They could be smaller, diminutive, but but you know very trickstery. Maybe you know, um, the uh, the hobgoblins to me, I always thought them as Oriental, like like samurai or Far East. You know, having a bit more armor, a bit more whatever. So you know that could be uh, obviously that's the depiction of them. So they could have come from a far away land. They could be the Huns, I guess. But the Hun, uh, what else? Hobgoblins. They got a big. I think there's a big ogre in here. That could be just some some somebody has a big ogre. You know, there's a big dude that's big Andre the Giant kind of guy. Um, there's a shallow pool here with gray ooze, and then there's another one with a gelatinous cube. That could be variations on uh, jellyfish and stuff like that, like poisonous freshwater type of creatures. So you've got this whole thing here. Now I think too this would be more com- combat because these the people at the, all these cults around the, the caves of chaos they're going to be much more combative, right? They're not going to convert. So that, you know, this will, this will be a fun, um, uh, just full on fighting one, you know? Um, but you, but maybe a miraculous rebuking of some of them could convert them, especially of the lesser minions. So there's still a chance. If, um, the owl bear is obviously just a big, crazy bear, the bugbear layer. So I think those are like huns, you know, that wear the fur, or barbarians of the German or the Germanic barbarians wearing the fur and the bear things. You know, they're all like a bear cult. Um, they got slaves, <clears throat> convert the slaves. The Minotaur can easily be some big dude with that wears horns, wears an oxen horns or whatever. Um, you know, just some big barbarian dude. Fire beetles and stir. Uh, it's fine with me. Sturge cave is basically some that could be a big crazy bats, prehistoric bats, or it could be prehistoric like little pterodactyl type thing creatures. You know what I mean? Because it's uh, what else is it here? The gnolls could be, um, Northmen tall, you know, from the, from the snow, just tall, big, crazy dudes, or, or they're kind of like, I remember they're kind of deserty. They, those could be the Africans, like tall African dudes from the, from the deserts and the bugbears could be from the North, you know, or whatever. So, you know what I mean? You like, you really extrapolate out on these cool or, or Arabic, tall Arabic dudes with, with long scimitars. And, uh, anyway, so, so it's just fun stuff like that. I think I, I definitely should make a series of, of a uh, bestry or whatever the, of the different sort of extrapolate out different tribes from different areas and what they, what their specialties are, what their special weapons are, what the special armor. I definitely, I should definitely do that. If you, and if I haven't done it soon, you bug me about it. Um, or one of you do it and send me a lit, you know, send me the uh, cool thing and I'll check it out. Um, the shrine. So the shrine of evil chaos, the hall of skeletons could be skeletons. They could be possessed. You could have, you know, sort of, um, the evil spirit possessed thing if you want. Cause it's, I've, I've, it's been, I've, re, I've been reading it with the fathers of the church, um, boulder field passage. And that's obviously going to work. And in the zombies though, the zombies or the skeletons to me are, are, you could easily do like poison and possession, poison, possess, poisoned, uh, you know, they're like on drugs. Maybe even there's a ton of even modern day. They have them on cocaine and drugs at some, a lot of times in, in those, so those militias and stuff. So you could have that where they're drugged out, um, and possessed and they, you know, some, they, they obviously, the pagans obviously do rituals to turn them into their cult slave guardians. Um, and they drug them in and then they, they have kind of a ritualistic brainwashing as well. Okay. So you, th- this is totally, you can totally do a D and D style for the RPG, you know, still have that essence of D and D that I know we all, we all love and enjoy and remember. And, um, the evil priest here. Um, you know, whatever you can have them do different sort of spells, a snake snap, and that's in the Bible. So I guess you can do a snake, you know, or whatever. And I, I think it's some sort of magician, magic treasury, like, you know, a staff that, and then throws out a snake, but whatever, you, can, you know, but Hey, it's in the Bible. Um, then also there's a white, which could just be either a, a dead person that sort of has an evil ghost, or it could be a person that's been trapped there and drugged and, and, and you know, he's sort of the sacrifice and uh, crazy and scary and, you know, exudes fear. And there can also be, uh, there's also a Medusa in here. So that can be a witch that has a, you know, petrifying powder. And she's obviously, uh, locked away. So she's very angry. Um, and I bet you the priest, the evil priest is immune to her poisons. Um, so she could be very, you know, concubine or something kind of bad. And she, so she could be, you know, maybe she could be converted. So, and there's a torture chamber. So this totally works. You could totally turn this into a four little RPG. Have fun with it. I mean, obviously there's some conversion things 
to do there. Um, if you all bug me enough, I'll do it. But um, I just wanted to give you examples of how World of RPG is totally, you can relive your D&D glory. And yet for the Lord, you can do, um, it's a mission based, you know, it's a little more combat in this one because obviously all those cults, but there's still a chance to convert some of them and, and, and maybe have them help help. And granted, I, in the, in the game, I don't want it to have it where there's a big battle skirmish rule system, but they could like, if you got a group that you converted then they can sort of remove one of their groups just automatically, like, in, you know, cause they're fighting them and they're all equal out kind of thing. And then you can focus on the main ones or something like that. But, um, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to let you know that um, we are not, you know, what I'm trying to bring together. My actually final train of thought is that fantasy. It, I want to. I want for the Lord to be the real fantasy, the real fantasy that we're forgetting and we're ignoring. They've taken Christianity out. Real fantasy is Christianity and paganism. That struggle, and we've removed ourselves. We've taken ourselves out. So the pagans are now taking credit for everything. They're taking credit for fantasy. They're taking credit for chivalry. They're taking credit for romance. They're taking credit for, for medieval history. Literally, literally they are in the, in their movies and the, their stories and their fantasy books. We have got to re inject our Christianity in there because we're the, we're the ones that created the fantasy that we love and know today. We help, we, whatever homogenized, made it family friendly and all that stuff. But we, because we've removed ourselves, they have taken over and are using it for all, for their agenda, uh, for their, for their paganism, for their, their evangelizing. So, Bring it back. Show that we can have it. We can play it. We can we can use it and have fun with it. <clears throat> okay? So in the game of life, remember to roll holy dice.